Good morning, guys. Welcome back to my channel. I know that I look amazing. Um, <laughs> I just got my kids to the bus stop. We just moved, but I'm keeping them in their same school until the end of the year because out here they only go to school until the first or second week of June. So I didn't want to switch them schools for like a month, two months, whatever. My oldest daughter, Jocelyn, is home. She last night she started getting a stuffy nose, which we just thought were allergies because um, one of our my son has really bad seasonal allergies. Sorry, she is autistic and she's watching some YouTube videos and she's very excited. So if you hear yelling, clapping, jumping, that's her. <laughs> um, anyway, I look amazing. Here we are. I thought today I would do my L3 stash for you guys. I'm sitting at my kitchen table. This is my new kitchen behind us. Um, it might be a little bit echoey. The lighting might be kind of weird. Sorry. Um, if any vendor might like tell me that I need wax rehab, it might be L3. This is what I have right now that I haven't melted through. This does not include my holiday wax. Once again, I have a holiday bin that I will be going through. Um, and this does not include the pre-order that ends today at 5 p.m. Uh, I went hefty, oh, hefty for me. Um, what I think is a lot might not be a lot for other people, but for me. Anyways, I'm gonna get into my L3 stash. I think I'm gonna do like all my stuff that, cause I have all my scoops back here, my loaves here, my bitty bitty loaves here, and then kind of like everything I've chopped up and then smaller amounts down here. So I'm gonna do my chopped up and smaller amount stuff first and then try to throw it in my bin. Um, does it say on here? I could have sworn, oh, let's see. 32 quart is how big this is. And all of my wax can, L3 wax cannot fit in there. So I'm gonna try to organize it as I go. So maybe I should do my loaves first, right? Cause those kind of fit on the bottom the best. Okay, let's do loaves first. Okay, my first full loaf here. I love to death. I shared one of these with my friend Melissa, but then I bought another one for myself. Um, rosemary mint bum bum cream type. This might be, might be my favorite bum bum blend from L3. For some reason, it makes me be able to smell, like it allows me to be able to smell the rosemary mint really well and the bum bum really well. Like I can smell them both separately. I don't know what it is, but they both come out really well and this is really beautiful. I can't like long talk about each of these scents or we'll like never finish. So some of them I might just be like, hey, it's this. The next one is tea and cakes, lavender, lemon curd. I have not melted this one at all yet. I will be soon though, because I love all of those um, oils. Today is October 3rd. Do we even need to talk about that one? Today is October 3rd. <laughs> and guys, I ordered more in the pre-order. Pre um, cashmere glow boardwalk mallow clouds. I'm super excited to melt this one. I just got it though. And I need it to cure a little bit longer cause they're both, it smells pretty soft. So we'll have to see about that one. Oh, this one I'm so excited for this fall. I want to melt it now, but I'm waiting. I'm making myself wait. Um, this is green apple, cotton candy, zucchini bread, cinnamon, sugar, and adipose. If you guys don't know, adipose is her like marshmallow magic blend, whatever. Um, this smells like fun, like fall fun perfection. I need, I kind of want more of that, but, um, one that I have this, but I also have, so I'll talk about at the same time, a backup loaf and then a loaf that's almost gone. I've talked about this one quite a bit recently on my Instagram because it's amazing. This is funnel cake, boardwalk, mallow clouds, cotton candy, frosting, and blackberry. A, the color is adorable. Like, I love this hot pink color. Um, when it melts, it's almost like clear, though. It's very um, transparent. This really showcases her blackberry in an amazing way. Um, I get mostly blackberry. The funnel cake is not spiced, or if it is, I don't smell the spice in here. I get just a touch of boardwalk mallow clouds. It mostly smells like cotton candy frosting, just a little bit, because that's not my favorite oil, and blackberry. So it really smells like a blackberry funnel cake almost to me, but lighter, more sugary, less bakery. Oh, it's so good. I'm so glad to have a backup loaf. Um, next one is my backup loaf of her mermaid munchies, saltwater princess and saltwater mermaid. 
I believe for the pre-order, she actually named this something. Like there's a name for this whole blend. Um, I really like it. I told you guys before, um, to me, this smells like Bath and Body Works Endless Weekend with a little bit more like aquaticness to it. Um, I can't remember. Eat, there's So there's three oils in here. The Mermaid Munchies, Saltwater Princess, and Saltwater Mermaid. All of them have fruity, floral, and like aquatic in it, except for Saltwater Munchies, I think does not have an aquatic. That one's more of like a sour candy kind of uh, oil. So it's really fun. It's really nice. Um, it kind of just feels like a fun, girly, summery kind of scent, and I really like it. Um, so we will be seeing, oh, this is my loaf that's already chopped up. It's about half gone. So glad to have a backup of that one. And I'm so glad to see so many people loving that one. Um, when I smell it, it does seem like one, like I, there's certain scents I smell that I'm like, oh, tons of people are going to like this one. You know what I mean? Um, okay. This was for my most recent RTS. This is her fizzy pop Satsuma saltwater mermaid. This is so good. Once again, like I said, I was scared that the Satsuma was going to come out too much. Um, but it doesn't, the fizzy pop really comes out and I like really fizzy, fizzy scents. And so I enjoy that one. Amber white. This one I'm letting cure a little bit because it also smells very light on cold. Hmm, I think it's getting a little bit stronger. So this one to me smells like amber, but also it, it has a lighter, muskier amber tone to it versus the like real amber, like super earthy resinous amber scent. This almost to me smells like that earthy amber mixed with like a boardwalk marshmallow clouds almost, but without the sweetness, just the muskiness of it. So I love these kind of scents. Um, it smells very sexy. Um, I'm excited to chop that one up at some point. This one I still don't know about. Black sugar, let them eat cake, sugared violet petals. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I like sugared violets. At least in this, this is an I don't know. <laughs> I like black sugar. I don't know about let them eat cake because I've never smelled it by itself. But I do get a lot of the sugared violet petals. So I don't know. I still think I might give that one away to someone. This one I got, uh, the reason I got this loaf is because I got this scoop, this little mini scoop, half scoop, whatever you want to call it, in caramel apple boardwalk mallow clouds. I normally can't melt caramel based scents because they're too ooey gooey to my nose, but that boardwalk mallow clouds does something to that caramel that makes it still sweet, but makes it less ooey gooey. So because of this half scoop that I got, I saw that she had offered, or maybe someone requested it, I'm not sure, but a loaf in that same scent. So I have this one, I mean, really any time, but it really is like end of summer, early fall kind of scent, because that caramel apple does come out a lot, even though I would say, I mean, I would say it's like 60% caramel apple, 40% boardwalk mallow clouds, but this one might be a good break from like the true like bakery fall scents, because that boardwalk mallow clouds makes it a little more not perfumey, but just not as heavy, if that makes sense. So glad to have that one. And I hope she pours this again. Just a plain loaf of pumpkin pecan waffles. She has the good oil, the real oil in my opinion, the very creamy thick oil that is not spiced. I love spicy scents, do not get me wrong, I really do. Um, but as far as pumpkin pecan waffles goes, I want it to smell like hers and it's amazing. Sorry, I know it probably bugs people that I don't necessarily look at the camera because my camera is right or the lens is right there. But like, I have to make sure I'm holding things straight and stuff. So sorry if that bothers you. Okay, and then my last uh, basic Betty loaf is Blackberry Fluffy Towel Salty Sea Air. Um, and I forget names like ridiculous, but one of my good friends on Instagram told me that this one was... Um, requested and I was really excited because this blend is like identical to another vendor's blend that I love very much. Except that I like Jennifer's Blackberry better than that other vendor's Blackberry. And so I was really excited to try this. This is heavier on the Blackberry in my opinion than the fluffy towels or the salty sea air, which I'm okay with. Um, but it does smell like a very fresh, beautiful Blackberry. And I like that very much. I do hope to get more of that because um, that is a fresh blend that I really like. I love the fluffy towels oil, even though sometimes it can give me a headache. Okay, we'll do Bitty Betty Lowe's next. I only have a few of these because I've chopped quite a few of them. Today is October 3rd. I mean, 
um, Lavender Malo BBW type, Boardwalk Malo Clouds Adipose. So this was good. I was really hoping that the Lavender Malo would come out more. It smells really good on cold, but when I melted it, I had another one of these. I smelled almost nothing. Um, I love that Lavender Malo type from Bath & Body Works. Um, I wonder if at some point she will pour it just by itself so I can see if it would be stronger. Um, I was given this by my sweet friend, Rachel, um, candles and sweet stuff on Instagram, Kelly Comfort. This is the Strawberry Pound Cake in Boardwalk Mallow Clouds. Love this one. And then I was given this by uh, Grace on um, Instagram. It's Christmas PJs. It's her Downy Sugar Cookies and Blue Spruce. I love this one any time of year, honestly, because of that Downy. But um, I am saving it for Christmas. Her Sugar Cookies has a... I don't like her Sugar Cookie Oil, especially by itself. It has a maple note to it, like a very much maple note. Her Royal Sugar Cookie is good. Um, but the only reason the maple scent works in here for me is because of the blue spruce. It kind of goes together and smells like, make it smell, makes it smell like a real tree. Um, but I do not like her plain sugar cookie oil because it, I can't do the smell of maple syrup. Like, no, no, no. Okay, I guess let's do scoops next. Oh, I love this one. Ugh, I forgot I had this one. This is pink sugar cactus sea salt. This is so good. Um, I know I raved about this one before. They go together perfectly. I would say that this uh, particular one is stronger on the cactus sea salt with just a little bit of pink sugar, but so clean. If you like clean, fresh scents, um, but need it to not be sharp, try cactus sea salt. It's very, I think it's a very aquatic scent actually. Um, so give that one a try. It's really nice. Mm, people do not talk about this one enough. This is Top Gun. This is Clean Steel, High and Tight Barber Shop, Haircuts and Crisp Clean Linens. This is, oh God, what is it about masculine scents? They're so good. This is like the freshest masculine scent ever. Um, if you like stainless steel oil, but even cleaner, and shave in a haircut. That's like what this is all together. This is amazing. I can't believe more people don't talk about Top Gun or request it because this is a fabulous uh, masculine scent. This is an older scoop, um, one that hasn't been very successful. Um, this is Palo Santo Clean Cotton and Blue Sugar. This is what her older labels looked like. Um, <clears throat> this one just doesn't throw. I can, I, I smell it and I'm smelling blue sugar and a little bit of clean cotton. I don't really even smell the Palo Santo in there. Um, and this is from the beginning. I haven't used much of it because I've melted it like two or three times and I just don't get much from it. So I'm not sure why, because clean cotton is a very strong oil. Blue sugar and Palo I'd say are moderate thrower oils. Um, so I don't know why that's not very strong, but it's not, so it's not my favorite. Uh, the next one is Riverbank, Aquaman, and Pine Trees, which is Roaring River, Fresh Pine Trees, Ocean Waves, and Sea Breezes. This one also, maybe it's just the blend of them all together because I feel like all of those should be, especially pine, um, should be a very strong scent. It's not. It's very blah. It's very almost watered down. This is one that I just don't melt because it's not really there. I don't know why. Um, and it's not even one that I'd share with anyone because it just doesn't, it literally doesn't do much. I don't understand it. So anyway. Um, oh, this one is brand new. Oh, I'm melting it right now in my daughter's room. Holy cow. It's so good. Sweetie pie, white elephant exchange. So if you are a strawberry pound cake lover, but just feel like it needs something a little bit more, try sweetie pie from L3. I feel like it takes strawberry pound cake, it makes it sweeter. So strawberry pound cake is heavier on the strawberry than sweetie pie is. But sweetie pie just, I feel like complete strawberry pound cake, but definitely makes it sweeter. So I like both, but they're different, but I like sweetie pie better. And then it's mixed with her white elephant exchange, which very much is powdered donuts <laughs> um, and vanilla kind of thing. Um, give this a try. I would say, so in her pre-order, I bought... I got the White Elephant Exchange sampler, um, but I got two loaves of Sweetie Pie by itself. This specific scent wasn't in the pre-order. Trust me, I searched for it. 
Um, but I do love these blended together a lot. This is a little bit older scoop. Um, I've used more than half of it. <clears throat> this is her Fresh Pitch Strawberries Birthday Cake and Vanilla Bean Noel. I do like this one a lot. I'm not <clears throat> in love with the Fresh Pick Strawberry Oil. Most vendors use this oil as Fresh Pick Strawberry. To me, it comes off a little chapsticky, um, but I do like the Birthday Cake and the Vanilla Bean Noel. The strawberry in here, it's okay. Um, it just comes off really chapsticky, so I don't know about that one. This one's newer to me as well. White Tea and Berries, Berry Licious and Blackberry Fizz. Um, I did melt this and I will say on warm. <clears throat> so in my cold review, I said that that Berry Licious made it smell kind of like a candy scent and it does, but on warm, the white tea comes out a lot more. I wish the Blackberry Fizz was a little bit stronger. Like the tea was fizzy in this, but it's not. Um, so it definitely is like a white tea and berries and Berry Licious to me. I don't get much Blackberry Fizz in there at all, but I do like it. Um, just not like, one I'd repurchase. Um, North by Northwest. This is cider donuts and cran apple cider. I haven't melted this one yet. I just made a little dent in it to see if I could smell it a little bit better. Oh, it's going to be amazing. I need to put this probably in my holiday bin. I just have been holding on to it to sniff it because I love cranberry and cider scents very much. Um, so I am so excited to melt that one. And then this was a couple RTSs back. This is her spin cycle. I never looked up to see exactly what was in this, but it does smell like, <clears throat> it, smel it smells like wet laundry, like after it's been through the washer and you're about to uh, move it over to the dryer. So it smells good, I like it. Um, I think in her pre-order she had one, is it called Pink Undies or Edible Undies or something like that? And I think it's spin cycle and pink sugar. I got one loaf of that, so. Um, I, I do like spin cycle, but I haven't melted it yet. So I can't tell you if I like love it or not yet. Okay. Let's do some bunts. Uh, this one is season of the witch boardwalk mall of clouds. I love season of the witch. I know it's something super basic. It's just, um, leaves and apples. It's so strong. You guys, her season of the witch is so strong. And this is definitely one, um, that I could melt all like fall and be super happy with it. Um, mix with that boardwalk model of clouds. Sorry, I just, ugh, my shoulders are killing me right now. Um, it just makes it a little bit sweeter and muskier. Um, I, I have more of this in my holiday bin, but every once in a while, I don't want to get into my holiday bin. I just want fall in my house. And so I have a bunch of this sitting here for when I get in that feeling. Okay, uh, Mac Apple Saltwater Taffy and Saltwater Mermaid. I actually melted some of this the other day and really did like it. I mostly get the Mac Apple and then I get Saltwater Mermaid. I, I need to smell Saltwater Taffy by itself so I can like recognize when I'm smelling it. I feel like it must be a very, very light scent that just adds like a little bit of salty sweet because um, I am straight up smelling Mac Apple and Saltwater Mermaid in here, which is fine. It's nice. Um, I don't know if I'd get it again, but I do really like it. Oh, let's see. Okay, one that I love and I'm hoarding this bunt, is Winter Glow. This is Amber Toasted Mallow and Woolen Blanket. This is a very warm, cozy, woodsy, sexy scent. I love amber so much in blends. Um, I mean, depending on what kind of amber it is, but I do like that one a lot. One that I just got that I am feeling, I have four bunts of it, is the Saltwater Mermaid Frosty Fizzy Bubbly. And um, I was told by a beautiful friend on YouTube that the Frosty Fizzy Bubbly is her ginger ale. In the pre-order, there are loaves of Saltwater Mermaid and I think it's just Fizzy Soda, which is like the lemon lime soda. So this one's the ginger ale and this one's super fizzy. I love it. I would say that, oh gosh, that ginger ale is so good. I, I can smell it now. Now that she's told me, I'm like, yep, that's definitely ginger ale. I would say this is like 75% fizz, frosty fizzy and like 25% saltwater mermaid. And I am okay with that. I might actually leave this out to melt today because I love it. Why did I keep grabbing that bag? <laughs> 
Um, okay, Bora Bora coconut leaves, bum bum, and hint of chlorine. Uh, I got this in a couple RTSs back. It's okay. I mostly just get Bora Bora, which is like not my favorite. Um, I mean, I, I like it, but I like it when it's mixed with something a little bit punchier. Um, so it's okay. Um, I'll melt it, but it's not my favorite, and I probably wouldn't buy more. Uh, I have one bunch of machete, and this is flapjacks, blueberry pumpkin patch, and pecan waffles. This one is good. It does smell a lot like that uh, blueberry pancake candle from Bath and Body Works, which I actually really like, even though I don't really like blueberry scents, but I like the blueberry in here. Um, it's just not very strong. This is a very light thrower. So I'm happy to have this one bunt, but I don't think I'd get it again because it's a very light thrower. The, let's see, are these my last bunts? I think these are my last bunts. Uh, Autumn Day Bath and Body Works type. It doesn't have the notes on here, but this very much smells like, like fallen leaves. It's, it's a fresher, woodsier scent, but it definitely smells like a warm day in the fall. Um, like the sunshine is shining on fallen leaves and trees and dead grass, but in such a good way. <laughs> I like this. Um, I guess it should be in my holiday bin as well, but this could be at any time of year scent. Um, it's kind of a fresh air woodsy scent, but it's really good. <laughs> okay. So everything else that I have are things that I've chopped up. Oh, I have, let me do my chunks. Uh, well, I only have one chunk and I, I just did this in my last RTS and I don't like it. This is Huckleberry Harvest and Boysenberry. Um, I know that Lori Brown really likes this. So probably next time I send her a box of stuff or maybe we're going to be doing a round robin. Uh, maybe I'll send this in there because I know a lot of people like this scent. I just don't. It smells like candy to me. And then I have one of her, I get confused with all the vendors. This is a cloud cake. Is this a wave bar? Is this a, who knows? Uh, bite me margarita. Um, I, uh, maybe I'm getting like a touch of chair. I don't like this. I'm sorry. I don't like it. Um, I was hoping for a margarita scent and I, this color, this is like my favorite color blue right here. Blue is my favorite color. Um, there is just something off about this to my nose. I might put it in that round Robin, not because I want someone else to have something I don't like, not at all, but someone else might really like this. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, everything else is chopped up or like leftover puppy packs. So this one is really good. This is pumpkin pecan waffles, cider lane, mallow fireside and blackberry. Um, I was hoping to smell more cider lane in here, but I smell almost no cider lane. I get some pumpkin pecan waffles, um, like the smallest touch of mallow fireside and blackberry. So it smells like Pumpkin, blackberry pumpkin pecan waffles, which is fine because I love her blackberry and I love her pumpkin, pumpkin pecan waffles. Um, I think I saw that there was loads of this, this, this left on her site in RTS. So if you want to try this one, I would go and do it. It is really good. It's just her pumpkin pecan waffles. Just be aware. It's a heavy scent. Like it, it's really good, but like I, I can't have it be hot outside and melt her pumpkin pecan waffles. So Keep that in mind. This is crisp berry your crunch berry crisp Frankenberry sugar cookie royale. I love this one. I don't know why I haven't melted it more. Mmm. I I love crunch berry. Um, I don't know what crunch berry crisp is though. I know that Frankenberry has blueberry in it, but it doesn't smell too blueberry-ish. And I love her sugar cookie royale. I feel like I get every one of those things. Um, I should melt this more. I like that one quite a bit. Oh, I just chopped this one up this morning. This is her waffle cone, sweet cream, whole vanilla beans, and coffee bean. This one is mostly coffee. Yeah, um, and then her whole vanilla bean. I was hoping that the waffle cone would come out more, but it doesn't, so it's okay. It's like a creamy coffee is all this smells like. Um, this was just barely poured. <clears throat> it's not very strong this morning. I actually have it in three warmers. I have, you can see a warmer there. I actually have one on top of my fridge while I'm waiting for another table to be put in. And then I have one on my table here and I have this in every single one of them and I don't smell it very well. So we'll have to see, maybe it needs cure time. <clears throat> These bags are so nasty. I'm sorry. 
Um, this one is Summer Scoops Strawberry Pound Cake and Don't Cross Streams. I really like this one. I love Summer Scoops. I actually got this because of the Summer Scoops. And I would say in this, the Summer Scoops is the strongest. If you guys don't know, Summer Scoops is a Yankee Candle type. And it's supposed to be like a strawberry ice cream scent. I do get strawberry ice cream. But to me, it more smells like um, when you buy like a bag of frozen strawberries that has kind of like that syrup in it that you put on like waffles and pancakes and stuff. That's what Summer Scoops smells like to me. And I would say like 60% of the scent is the Summer Scoops. And then just a touch of that strawberry pound cake and don't cross streams. Um, I actually need to melt this one more. I just have so much wax. It's like hard to get to some of the scents I love. And then I have her just plain strawberry pound cake. She has a very strong strawberry pound cake. Um, I really, really like it. I have about a little less than half a loaf in here left. I'm happy to have that. Oh, this is my second favorite bum bum uh, blend from her. And look at the color. Once again, I love that hot pink. This is her Santa's on keto and bum bum cream type. So it plays up the gourmand notes in the bum bum. Oh, it's so good. I would say that it's mostly bum bum. That's what I smell the most. But then when you when it's on warm, you really get those like sweet vanilla notes um, from the Santa's on keto. This is, oh, gosh, I need to rebag so many things. I just don't have the time. Uh, this is a newer one to me as well. Uh, I just chopped this up a couple of days ago or yesterday or the day before. This is pumpkin souffle and cookie crack. I'm actually really surprised at how pumpkin-y and spicy this one is. For pumpkin souffle already being like a, gourmand pumpkin blend and then mixed with cookie crack. I like this a lot. I feel like I smell the pie crust, I, definitely the pumpkin spice. Um, and there's a sweetness from that cookie crack, but it is a very spicy pumpkin oil. So I will very much enjoy this in the fall because I do like spicy stuff a lot, but it just can't be even somewhat hot outside or warm for me to melt stuff like this. So. Uh, the next one is a chopped up loaf. I've only melted this once or twice of Island Fresh Gain Avocado Coconut. Um, I love this play on Island Fresh Gain. So I've talked to you guys before about how Island Fresh Gain alone can really give me a headache, even though I really like the smell of it. Um, and I would still say that this is like 50% or maybe even 60% Island Fresh Gain. The avocado coconut doesn't take away from the, the freshness of it, but it just smooths it over. So it's not like that powdery caught in your throat island fresh gain. Um, the avocado adds like a fresh creamy greenness to it. And the coconut, I if you didn't tell me coconut was in here, I wouldn't know. Um, but since I know, I can imagine it in there, but it's really just the creaminess from it that I get. I have just a tiny bit left. I love this blend, but if I got this again, I wouldn't get it in a loaf. I'd probably get it in like two buns or so and call it good. But this is her blue sugar zucchini bread, warm vanilla sugar. Who knew that zucchini bread and blue sugar went together so well? It's so weird, but it really, really does. Um, I'm almost done with this. Um, a few more melts in there and then I'll call it good. But this is definitely a scent I'd get more of, just not a lot. I go, okay, those are all my chopped loaves. Now let's do chopped Bitty Bettys. Uh, cotton Candy White Elephant Exchange. Yeah, this one's nice. So this makes White Elephant Exchange, which is already insanely sweet, makes it sweeter with the cotton candy. So just so I can let you know, the White Elephant Exchange is powdered donuts, vanilla wafers, white cake, vanilla frosting. It is very sweet. And um, right now I'm just not tolerating sweet scents very well just at the moment because it's cheat day and I just ate three donuts. So now I can't stand smelling anything sweet. I'm gonna have to go change my warmers out to something fresh and clean or else I might just freaking throw up. I don't know. <laughs> Does anyone else get like that? Um, okay, so this one was also sent to me by Rachel on Instagram, love her to death. This is sweet lavender peppermint malo Nilla wafer. This is really good. I was actually looking for this the other night. I kind of, I kind of, lo I love lavender peppermint scents so much, um, but I just haven't melted them a lot recently. I don't know why, but this is a great one. Um, even though it's sweet lavender, which I'm not a huge fan of, for some reason with that Nilla wafer and the peppermint, it's fine. And I still get the herbaliness of the lavender. Um, so thank you, Rachel, 
Love that one. This one is like a 30 out of 10 on throw. Um, this is Orange Blossom, which is a very strong oil. Lavender Fabuloso, which is a very strong oil. And Honey Lavender Gelato, which is a very strong oil. All mixed together. I am, I am telling you, this piece I cut in half and put each of those pieces in a mini warmer and my entire house smelled like it. Like, like you walk through the door and it's like, holy cow. Um, I gave one of these away to one of my friends and cause I think um, this bitty bitty loaf is gonna last me the rest of my life. <laughs> it is that strong, but it's really good. Um, okay, this one's Zucchini Bread White Elephant Exchange, which is in the pre-order right now. And this is nice. Um, the zucchini bread makes that white elephant exchange not as sweet. It makes it a little bit more savory, a little bit more rounded, a little bit more depth to it. So I do like it. I didn't order any more of this one, um, but I, I do enjoy it. If I saw it in the future, I might get a Bitty Betty or a soup or a, not souffle, um, bunt of it or something. I think this is in the sampler that I bought. So I do like it. This one just wasn't super strong. Um, but it's a nice background, warm, uh, like savory and sweet scent because of that zucchini bread. Um, okay. I think all the rest are puppy packs. Oh, this is a cut up bunt. I really like this one for my room at night. This is vanilla satin, cashmere cedar, and boardwalk mallow clouds. This is a thrower. Um, I'd say like a nine out of 10. And it's just very sexy. The vanilla satin, the cashmere cedar are so strong in there. I kind of want vanilla satin by itself to see what it's like, because this is very nice, um, but it's a very like feminine, sexy scent, and it's a thrower. Um, really nice, so I'd absolutely get more of that. Um, I have a little bit left of this. My friend Candy on Instagram sent me this giant box like a year ago of a ton of stuff. It had a lot of L3 in it. I love this one. Uh, clothespins, lemon curd, and snuggle. If this, um, I'm gonna keep that out to melt. If this came in out in a loaf, I would buy it for sure. Um, I can smell everything in it, the clothespins, the lemon curd, the snuggle, but it comes off as a lemon scent, but the best lemon laundry ever. Yeah, I'm, I'm keeping that out, I'm gonna melt that. <laughs> um, eight Crazy Nights, this was is part of a puppy pack that's left. This is a very popular scent of Jennifer's. Uh, this is blackberry jelly, fried dough, and hint of campfire smoke. People really go crazy for this one in the fall. And I do like it. Um, this is actually in her little Halloween shapes. I do like it. I'm glad I had this puppy pack, but to me, it's not one that I'm like, oh my gosh, it smells so amazing. I need more of it. One that I'd probably get a puppy pack of or a bunt and melt it here and there. Um, not a super strong thrower, but it's, it's nice. Um, I have some gold sugar left, a little bit left of this puppy pack. Uh, gold sugar is a newer oil that a lot of vendors are putting out. This is orange, mandarin, neroli, creme brulee, coconut, orange blossom, whipped cream, sandalwood, and musk. Um, it ends up coming off as like a creme brulee, mandarin, but definitely orange blossom in there and musk. It's interesting. It's like it's it's almost like a citric, creamy body care. I don't know, I like it. It's really good. It's just really hard to describe. You have to smell the oil to understand. Uh, black sugar. This one is vanilla, raspberry, myrrh, agar wood, and sandalwood. A lot of people don't like this one. This is my favorite of all the new sugar oils. <laughs> I know that I am the minority in that. This is so resinous and dark. My nose and brain really, really likes resinous scents. I don't know why. I would love to have this one in like a lotion or a body oil. It smells very just like medita meditative. I can never say that word right. I love it. I really get the myrrh, the wood. Um, I don't know about the vanilla and raspberry. Don't even listen to that. Um, it is a dark wood and myrrh. It's resinous, very resinous. Um, I've heard three people now tell me that they think it smells like motor oil. So <laughs> someone might come over to my house and it might smell like motor oil and I might think it smells amazing. I don't know. Um, okay, I'm melting this one actually right now in my bathrooms. This is her Ozone Hawaiian Blast. 
The Hawaiian Blast is kind of like a generic tropical fruit, like, it almost smells like Febreze, Hawaiian, whatever. So it smells good. But what this has taught me is that I really love ozone. And I, I mean, I already knew that I liked ozone, but I can smell it more singularly here. And I mean, I would love if we just had a loaf of ozone. Could we just have that? That would be amazing. <laughs> I have a full puppy pack here of her lighthouse. People go ham over this one. Her lighthouse is sea air, white musk, lavender, cashmere, amber, tonka, cedar, and plum. And people go crazy over this. And while I open it and it smells really good, I've melted a whole puppy pack of it now and I smell nothing. When I open this package, I immediately smell salty sea air, and like maybe a touch of like musk. I don't know. I must be missing something. Like my brain, I must be missing some sensors in my nose that aren't smelling this whole thing. I can imagine that it smells really great to some people. It definitely doesn't smell bad. It smells good. It's just not what everyone says it is to my nose. Um, I'm gonna let this cure for like a year and we'll see if it's magical then. Last thing, uh, two puppy packs. This one's half gone. I have a whole one of this. It's under pressure. This is one of her coffee blends. Um, strong black coffee, ice cream, creamy vanilla, sweet cream, and waffle cones. Um, it's weird because with other vendors, I feel like the waffle cone oil is very strong. Like when I have waffle cone blends, that's almost always what I smell first. Jennifer must just not have a very strong waffle cone oil or not put much in, you know, I don't know. Cause this just smells like strong coffee and like some sweet cream. I might get like a touch of that waffle cone, but it's barely there. So once again, I might just let these sit for a little bit. I'm not really a wax curer. I get it and I wanna melt it. So sometimes I think I miss out on things because I don't let them cure. Um, so keep that in mind when you hear my reviews or read my reviews on Instagram, because I just like want to go for it <laughs> and smell it all. So um, anyways, that is my entire L3. This, these are just like extras that were in my box um, that are not L3. Anyways, that's my entire L3 haul. Um, let me see if I can point this. It's that whole bin that I just filled and there's a couple extras that I'm gonna, I'm gonna toss two of those scoopables because the and then I'm going to melt a couple of these back here. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, this will probably be my last like vendor coverage this week. I'll probably do two next week. I actually have like a K's haul that's coming today that I'll probably record a little bit later and a Hayden Rowe one. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Have a good day. Stay well. We'll see you later. Bye.